Happy spring! It's time I show you some of my favorite plants. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, hi, welcome, I'm Patrick and I love plants. In today's video, I'm showing you some of my favorite plants. It's spring and some of my plants have gotten the memo, so I do have some favorites right now and I can't wait to show you. First plant that I am really, really in love with right now is Echeveria dragonfin. It's so cool. I love the way that it's growing and I absolutely love the hot pink variegation on these leaves. It's super pretty and I think it looks really cool in this skull planter. It's really heavy too. This Echeveria has been really easy to grow. I have this growing in full sun and that's how you get the nice pink variegation. It's been absolutely loving the rains so definitely water your succulents. Full sun and water is what succulents love. My next two favorite plants are also succulents, but they're somewhat new, but I really, really love them. They're Haworthias. This is the Haworthia mauganii. I think it's super cool. And then my other Haworthia, because I couldn't pick just one, is the Haworthia heart pygmaea. It's another really cool, really pretty Haworthia. They're super cute and I have learned from another friend, Frankie from Leaf and Light actually. I, I went over and he had such a cool collection of Haworthias. But his were growing under grow lights and I have mine in shade. So to prevent the stretching out of the Haworthia, I have it closer to the grow light in my Mars Hydro grow tent and these have been responding really well. I really, really like how these are looking. At first, I thought that the grow light may be too harsh for it because I have it pretty close to the grow light. But then again, these are succulents and they can handle it. I had my first Haworthia in full sun and as much as it didn't like that, it still continued to grow. So they can definitely handle it. These haven't even needed to acclimate to it. It just really, really likes it in there. <laughs> the next plant that I'm really excited about is this Crested Aeonium. I've had this Crested Aeonium for at least eight years and I didn't even know what it was. I just had it growing in a big pot. The rains this year have taken its toll on this plant and it fell over in its own pot. So I had to rescue it and give it a new home. A few pieces of them broke off. So I have two other Crested Aeonium plants, but this is the Big Mama, and I think she is so beautiful. Check it out. This is another plant that I have growing in full sun. I love the pink sun stressing on the edges of the leaves. This is such a cool plant. I actually have really cool history with this. One of my first trips to the LA flower market, I got this little plant as a little rosette cutting for less than a dollar. Who knew that it could grow into something so grand? Next up are some Hoyas that I'm really excited about. Check out this Hoya Lachinosa. I'm super excited to have a plant from Adam and Lydia. I got this at the big pop-up at Rosales and it's already done some growing for me. When I first got this plant, this was not there. So all these leaves are new growth. This plant was already taking off when I got it, but this plant just needed a little more time and now it is taking off. I have this plant growing in my Mars Hydro grow tent and I love how sun stressed the leaves get. The pink on the lighter parts of the plant is super pretty and I can't wait for this to grow even some more. I'm gonna cut it and make a fuller plant out of this someday. And then I'm really excited about my Hoya obovada variegata splash. It's inner variegated. I love how these leaves are coming out kind of crunchy, curly. Not crunchy. Well, probably maybe if I tried chewing it. These are I don't know, I like the way that these look. It kind of has a Hoya Carnosa Compacta look to it. And I don't know how it's doing that, but I do have this growing in the Mars Hydro Grow Tent also. Are you noticing a trend? A lot of the plants that are doing really well are from the Mars Hydro Grow Tent because my plants absolutely love it. 
and the sun, like the originator of photosynthesis. I have some big mamas to show you. Remember my Hoya Hushkaliana that I got from Perfect Choice Nursery or Aeroid Greenhouses? I got this from Aeroid Greenhouses. I used to get confused between Perfect Choice Nursery and Aeroid Greenhouses, but I think I get it now. Aeroid Greenhouses is their wholesale nursery. It's like their huge greenhouse operation and their like nursery that's open to the public is Perfect Choice Nursery. And they also have a huge greenhouse area there that is just for the aeroids and that is by aeroid greenhouses. Now that we got that cleared up, look at this Hoya Hushkiliana. It's been growing so much over the winter. I absolutely love this plant. There's even this cool patch where the leaves have a center red stripe. This is another Hoya that's been really easy to grow as far as growing it in the Mars Hydro Grow Tent. I have this closer to the light. Oh! I just noticed some peduncles right there. I'm so excited. Hoya Hishkaliana flowers are so cute. They look like little dumplings and they smell like butterscotch. Next plant that I'm really excited about is my Discidia ovata. I was telling you about how I love really thick, hard, waxy leaves, and this is it. But not only that, it has this beautiful red sun dressing. From being closer to the light, I have this, again, growing in my Mars Hydro Grow Tent. As you can see from all of the little aerial roots from the little vines, it's loving it because it's putting out a bunch of flowers. It's about to bloom everywhere. I'm so excited about how nice and full that this has been. I don't know what it is about the Mars Hydro Grow Tent, but Hoyas and Discidias absolutely love it. I am just gonna keep doing what I'm doing because this is nice and full, so obviously it's loving it. My next favorite plant might surprise you because it's a fern. It is this rosy maiden hair fern. I've been seeing this more and more in garden centers, so I recommend this. If you love the look of the maidenhair fern, but you've been burned by a maidenhair fern, I highly recommend this. I've had this for a little over a month, which isn't very long, but that's enough to make a maidenhair fern look ugly. And this has been looking really nice and full and really lush. Its fronds are really pretty too. It's been really easy to care for. Definitely though, you do have to check on its water because this thing gets thirsty so fast. I've caught it every time. I've even let it dry out and it's still fine. So, rosy maiden hair, highly recommend. Oh, and as for light, I have this growing about three feet away from an east-facing window, so it's not that demanding at all. It's just really chill, just really thirsty too. This is my Philodendron heteraceum variegata. It's the Hartley Philodendron, but with variegated leaves. And it hasn't done much for me, but lately it's put out these two really beautiful leaves that make me so happy. Look at the pink on this one. Yes, I have this growing in my grow tent. This is also loving the Mars Hydro life. I have this growing in my brighter grow tent. It's a smaller one. And I put it there because I, I started noticing that this leaf was almost all green. So I put it in the higher light and then it put out this leaf, which is some progress from the previous leaf. These two leaves are like some of my favorite leaves ever. It's so pretty. I love how this one is just perfectly marbled or mottled. And this one has really pretty pink. I don't know, is that sun stressing? Love the plant and I love the little planter that it's in too. As I'm talking to you, all I see is a butt. Another thing that I love about plants growing in the grow tent are the fuzzy aerial roots. That's how you know that the plant is happy. It grows fuzzy little roots. So cute. The next plant that I'm really excited about is this Anthurium crystallinum. I got this as a gift from Plants Choto. 
or from the Choto family. I went to one of their open houses and filmed a video. They gave me this, which is really nice and generous. This is the newest leaf. I love this thing because when I last looked at it, the leaf was tiny and now it's bigger than all the other leaves. So I'm really excited about this. It's so beautiful. It's got this beautiful velvety leaf and then the veins are sparkly, glittery, stunning. And then finally, this is my Anthurium clarinervium. This is the first rare plant that I bought off Mercari and I met them in downtown LA and bought this from them. I just recently transferred it into this vase and it's been loving it. So I can't wait to do this with more of my Anthuriums. So I have here a layer of orchid bark just for looks. And then I have this layer of sphagnum moss. And then I have a little reservoir of leca and water. The water will get absorbed up through capillary action and just keep the soil evenly moist. This clarinervium is loving it. I've had this for so long and it didn't do a thing. And it even put out tiny little leaves. Those are gone now. But this is its newest leaf. And, oh no, this is its newest leaf and it's nice and big, so I'm really excited. I can't wait for this to take off some more of this coming growth. Those are all my favorite plants right now. Thank you so much for joining me. I had so much fun showing you all my favorite leaves, plants, and some new repottings that I'm really proud of. So thank you for joining me. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. If you like this video, you know what to do. Please throw me a bone and give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my plant videos, come plant shopping with me. Hit that subscribe button. I can't wait to see you in the next video. I just don't want to miss you too much. So if you could show me some love in the comments and I'll meet you there. Bye. Ocean in between us, still I feel your heart mm -hmm. There's something about you, baby, that makes me feel complete. Nobody's meant to be fighting alone. That's why I'm taking you home. I never felt something like this before, no. Coming back for your time at the time. Maybe I'm losing my mind, but I know I'll never leave you behind, no. Baby, I got you. When you feel like falling, I'll be there to prove. Yeah. That baby, I got you. Baby, I got you. When you feel like falling, I'll be there to prove. Yeah, that baby, I got you. No matter the distance, no matter.